tracking the tropics right here and a lot to watch pulling out of the Caribbean Sea toward the north. I've been concerned about this area since Monday and it's entering an area that is ripe for development. The heat content in the Gulf of Mexico just off the charts right now. Thankfully, this storm system is moving on its way. Any slowdown will result in this thing possibly rapidly intensifying. Thankfully, the models don't show that. They show this going on its merry way, possibly making landfall as a tropical storm or a Cat 1 hurricane near the Big Bend region of Florida. Because it's moving so quickly, that also lo lowers the threat for widespread flooding. But it is going to remain strong as it moves up the East Coast through Georgia into the Carolinas as we go into Tuesday, Wednesday's time frame. So let me show you how this all plays out. We got this cold front helping to kind of steer everything, gives widespread rain and cooler conditions by Tuesday. But here comes this system pulling toward the north. It's moving so fast that it really doesn't have a chance to get very, very strong as of now. Of course, that could change. But a lot of rain, some gusty winds move through Florida on Wednesday throughout the day. It's moving into Georgia, then into the Carolinas by the time we get into Wednesday evening. Then it pulls back out into the ocean where it's going to move away from the United States and yank down some cooler air for us. The highest impacts from rain will be right along the east side of that front, which could be a lot of rainfall for the I-95 corridor from Georgia to the Carolinas. We'll watch that threat very closely as well. We're watching the winds. Of course, this entering a very warm part of the Gulf of Mexico, the slower the system goes, the stronger these winds are going to get. Thankfully, this is moving on its way quickly here. Here's Wednesday. There's Wednesday afternoon moving toward Georgia. By Thursday morning, it's back out over the water and pulling away from the Carolinas. So looking ahead, a Gulf storm is likely. We need to watch this closely. Any slowdown would result in a stronger system being possible. The timing here is Tuesday and Wednesday, Florida, Georgia and South Carolina as of right now. So the four day looks like this. I've got 96 degrees on Saturday, 89 on Sunday, an impact day on Monday due to the widespread nature of the rain. Then we're slowly cooling things back down. Look at this time next week, upper 70s to low 80s. It's going to be very nice area wide.